Well, 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 you know, another day, another vlog. First of all, I want to apologize, man. My voice is jacked up. It's been a few days like this. Uh, anyways, uh, but today's topic is about pitching. And specifically pitching, learning about your audience, man. I've been pitching for six years now. Here at his first business, I needed to pitch to raise capital. And I uh, learned a lot, man. I've done over 30 pitches, man. And uh, they're all different. They all require, uh, you know, different uh, ask, I would say. But it was very interesting that, number one, if you're in business and you don't want to pitch or you, don't, you, you get uh, uh, scared of pitching and all those things, you have two options. You either find somebody who's good in your team as pitching, or you you get over it. Uh, but you you're not you're not going to be able to have a successful business if you're not able to sell. It's not just about raising money; it's about selling your business to companies, to people, to investors, uh, different stakeholders, whatever that case is. So just pay attention to this uh, vlog, man. I think you'll learn a few things. So I've been doing public speaking for a long, long time now. It's been seven years, guys. And I learned a lot. I, I really learned a lot. And I remember I took a class in college, um, my second year of university of public speaking. And I'll never forget, man. <laughs> I'll never forget. You know, we, we had to, you know, go in front of the class and, and deliver our, our speech. And I remember getting in the front. And just start sweating, forgetting the words, being so nervous. You know, I used to be shy back then. Um, and I was like, man, I'll never do this again, man. And, 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 and of course, uh, life proved me wrong. But, but uh, they say, after flying, playing, public speaking is the second most feared uh, stuff to do, man. I, I didn't even know that. But, but yeah, man, I, I learned a lot. And, and one of the things I learned that you have to know, study your audience. Know who your audience is. If you're doing public speaking uh, for, 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 for corporate or business owners, it's not going to be the same as uh, for, for the public um, or for um, investors, for example. Everybody... You, everybody will have different needs and you have to feed that need. You have to know who your audience is so you know what to tell them. And, and um, I'll give you an example. So if you do public speaking for, uh, you know, corporate or business owners, for example. So the first thing you're going to be focused on is, focusing on is, you know, uh, the practicality of things. You're going to have to be direct. You're going to have to talk to them about what value you bring on. Uh, what's interested about what you're doing um, and they're not going to be too much interested about the story they want to know what what's it in for me you know and that's most people but that's a little bit different you know for corporate it's straight to the point you know um, I did one uh, for Microsoft I remember and it was straight to the point show the value it brings and how we use Microsoft products incorporated uh, but that was straight to the point and it worked really well if you do it to the public you spend more time telling a story you know you have to entertain a little bit more you always have to entertain but you have to entertain a little bit more through a story you know and and storytelling um and you know a little bit of sense of humor always help on on, on speeches you know you gotta crack a little bit of jokes and, and be a little bit funny uh but you have to tell you know the 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 emotion part of the public speaking uh, the passion, you know, has to show a little bit more uh, because they're going to care about that. They're going to react to that. You know, they're going to feel it when you're passionate about what you're doing. And VC, same thing. You know, the story is very important, but there's VCs, there's impact investors. So you have to learn 
um, about your audience. Your audience is key. Um, and base, you know, is young audience, older audience, you know, and I always ask, so when I have a public speaking engagement, the first question I ask is what kind of audience are we going to have at the, at the event? Um, you know, and, and get more information. I remember one public speaking case is where I changed my speech two hours before because I realized that speech was not going to work because the audience was not uh, going to feel that speech. So, uh, and I'm not the best public speaker, but you get better with time. You know, like I said, it's been seven years of, of, of running my mouth, like I said, and, and I'm continuing with his vlogs. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's just a, a continuous uh, uh, speaking engagement, but uh, but you have to learn about your audience, and I'm going to end with this. What I've learned, what I really learned with time is um, passion, confidence. Build your conf confidence about the topic you talk about. It. Passion about that topic, uh, knowledgeable about that topic. It helps a lot on the delivery of your speech. Uh, and the more you know about the topic, the more comfortable you are about delivering it. And, and of course you have to, you know, I, I, I spent a lot of time in front of the mirror before a speech to just make sure, uh, you know, the flow is right and all those things, and spe especially when I do pitches to investors and all those things. Uh, but if it's a regular speaking engagement, I don't do that much, but Learn your audience, guys, and don't develop generic uh, 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 speeches because it's, it's just not going to work. And speak from your heart. Speak from your heart. You never go wrong because people feel that emotion. You know, and, and I said I was going to end with this, but I just want to add one more thing. We live in a world today that if you're in business and you're not you don't want to do public speaking, you're not going to succeed. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to tell you, I mean, it's very simple. If you're not able to sell your idea, your concept, your vision to other people, that's part of public speaking and build your company brand and all those things. Either find a partner that can, or you get on board and start learning, man. And you're not going to be great in the beginning. That's fine. Practice, 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 make it perfect. Peace.